tests are at Cornell, so maybe maybe we should send her over. Oh no, that's it. this is a this is a very exclusive party. We don't want any wine people from Cornell. If you look <laughs> if you look over here, you see the porta potty. It's right. I don't know if you can see that. It's, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. My wife was freaking out that this might not work, but no, you're you look great, and we're gonna go live in thirty seconds. <laughs> no, we're just we're ready to rock and roll. Yep, uh, twenty seconds, and we're live. Okay, we're live to who? Thanks so much. For Ed, where where are you right now? I mean, in terms of like city. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, where I live. Oh, okay. Thought maybe you were on uh, on vacation or. In... Every day's a vacation for me, man. <laughs> I have every a lot day, of respect every for day that. Is Friday night. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we are uh, we are on with uh, Ed Marinero, class of uh, 1972. He's coming to us live from a from a cocktail party. So, Ed, thanks so much for for taking 10, 15 minutes out of your evening to talk with us on uh, Cornell Giving Day. How's everything going there in uh, Charleston? They said 10 minutes, not 15. Okay, is, we'll keep it at no, 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, you know what? It's great. I'm glad I could be part of this. This is a, a, a great night, um, and it's important for uh, the Cornell uh, athletic program, anyway, to, to raise some money and support our, our sports teams. Obviously, Cornell football is a big part of my life, and, um, you know, we got some great kids. We got kids who uh, work hard, and uh, we just need to support them. Ed, what was, uh, you know, what was so special about your, uh, you know, uh, when you think back to it, what, what, what were some of the great memories you have of just being a student athlete at Cornell? Well, you know what, I think that what I, obviously I got a great education. I was in the hotel school. Um, and that was a great experience for me. But in, in retrospect, I, I, the thing I took away are a lot of great friends. Mm -hmm. And um, I still am very, very connected to the, the guys I played football with, many of the guys who I was in the hotel school with. In fact, my good buddy Ed Marinucci <laughs> was here in Charleston this weekend playing in a member guest golf tournament that we had here. You know, we've been friends for 40 years. So the, the friendships and the bonds I made uh, were, were very special, and they, they exist today. And, you know, I got – I have so many buddies, I can't even tell you, that I played ball with that I still talk to, I mean, frequently. Not, not every year, but every couple of weeks. So I think that's what I'm most proud of, and that's what's um, – I think that's one of the special things about playing on a sports team anywhere – but at Cornell, you know, we, it's kind of a unique environment, a unique experience being an Ivy League program. And I think our guys are very special. Yeah, I mean, not only uh, were you an athlete, but you also, uh, you know, received a degree from the pretty much the best school in its field. Um, you know, do you think that's a, a unique aspect of Cornell to be able to do both those things? Absolutely. I, you know, I, I like to think of myself as a scholar. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't kid. <laughs> no, no. No, no. You know, when you, look, it, it, I think it's this very special kind of kid, person, athlete who will go to an Ivy League school. You know, I had opportunities to go to a lot of big football schools. And um, I visited Cornell. I saw that the, you know, the campus, I got to go to the hotel school and I said that that's that's for me there was no uh there was no choice that was it 
So, you know, Ed, you've remained uh, just a, a huge part of, of uh, advancing Cornell, uh, and you've had a really uh, celebrated and, and decorated career where you could easily, um, I, I'm sure, uh, almost, you know, Cornell could easily be an afterthought and, and just based on the, the great career that you've had. So what, you know, why do you keep giving time back? What is it about Cornell that, that still gets so much of your attention? Well, to be honest, I, I, where I am today is just uh, a result of my experience at Cornell. I mean, just to, the fact that I got to play in a, in a program at the time in, 19, in the late 60s, early 70s, we had a great football team. I had great teammates. We won the Ivy League championship in, in 71. Um, and I was coming from the Ivy League, which was sort of a, a rarity and oddity at the time. And I was able to distinguish myself. I didn't have a scholarship. I didn't have an athletic scholarship. So that made my, you know, who I was a bit unique. Mm -hmm. um, but I would, I would suggest, you know, it's hard to tell a, a kid who's, being touted and, and, and recruited by some of these big college football uh, programs to go to the Ivy League. But, you know, that's the thing I'm most proud of in my life. It, it sort of became my identity. And I've always been so proud to be an Ivy Leaguer. And um, the quality of our athletes in all our sports, um, particularly football, who I, I get to see them every summer, these young these young players uh, they, at the golf tournament at our fundraiser for the golf for the football program, I get to meet these young guys who are part of the team, and I'm so impressed. They're so respectful and, and, and dignified, and you know, I'm just very, very proud. I'm very proud of Cornell. I'm very proud of Cornell football. We were, uh, you know, having some difficult times right now, but we have a great coach in Dave Archer. We have a very talented staff, and I know. We are so close to turning it around, and we're going to be a, a force in the Ivy League. We it, it, Cornell has too much pride. Cornell has too much going for it to, to not be uh, a force in the Ivy League. Yeah, you know, Ed, we had Andy Noel on earlier today, and we talked a lot about uh, what a, uh, you know, how much time and uh, dedication and discipline Cornell student athletes have, not only uh, – on the athletic field or, or in the training room, but towards their academics as well. And that really seemed to propel them uh, in life after, after Cornell. Can you, can you speak to a similar experience? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's a great fraternity that we have at Cornell. It's um, it, like I said, it's very unique. We're, um, you know, the, 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 the emphasis, the priorities when you play uh, Ivy League sports is, is I, I, I think it's very different. You know, we don't have any one and outs like you see in some of the big basketball programs where if they just play as freshmen and then they go into the NBA. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a quality experience. I have a young son and, you know, I'm hoping – without being too pushy that, uh, he'll, uh, you know, he'll, he'll follow in my footsteps. And, and, um, he's a good student. He's a really great athlete and, and, uh, that nothing would make me prouder than to see him play at Cornell. And, um, I've, I've sort of like indoctrinated him. I, I, they, we, I play the, uh, the Cornell fight song when he goes to sleep, just so we can hear it all night long. <laughs> Well, we certainly have uh, a ton of respect for that dedication, and uh, we uh, we hope to see him suit up soon. Uh, well, Ed, thanks so much for for taking a few moments out of your uh, your evening. Uh, I know you're at a at a party, so we thank you so much for for stepping away and uh, you know continuing to just be uh, to be just a, a role model example of uh, an engaged uh, and, and philanthropic. Uh, alumnus of Cornell and we thank you for all your efforts and um, you know, we wish you the best. And uh, if you, if you had to uh, kind of give Cornellians a, a motivational pep talk to, to inspire them to take part in giving day, what, what would that sound like? 
Well, I know for a fact that if we get 75 contributions to the Cornell football program tonight, that we will get a, a bonus of $5,000, which would go a long way for Cornell football. So as, a, as, a, as a, an alum, former football player at Cornell, I encourage everybody. You know, I will say that when I was at school, I was a big fan of hockey. I was a big fan of lacrosse. You don't, you didn't have to have played the sport mm -hmm. to, to, to be affected and by the, by that sport. Cause it was part of the whole college experience. And I hope all those Cornell alums out there, whoever went to an event, enjoyed themselves, felt proud um, that they, 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 think about contributing something to our athletic program because it's very important. It's very important to this, to the overall experience of our, our students at Cornell University. And, um, you know, I can't encourage them enough to, to sort of be part of it. Uh, the, the, Cornell will always be in our blood and, you know, make a contribution. Well, thank you so much, Ed. Uh, again, you've, uh, you've really, uh, a great example of, of everything you just described. And we, we appreciate your support and uh, giving us again, giving us a few moments of your time tonight and hope, uh, hope you enjoy your evening. Uh, sounds like you're having a, a pretty good time. Uh, don't be, uh, don't be shy about coming back to visit us at, at Ithaca sometime soon, but I imagine right now uh, Charleston might be a little bit uh, of a friendlier climate. Well, you know what? I'm going to be up there at the end of July for the uh, the golf tournament. It's something I always look forward to. But um, I love Ithaca. I love seeing that little tower behind your head there. I remember that well. <laughs> and um, it always tugs on my heart every time I go back on campus. And, um, you know, it's, it's uh, a very big part of my life. Well, and you're a huge part of Cornell's life, Ed. So thanks again. And have a great night, and uh, we'll be sure to keep uh, uh, promoting uh, those last few gifts for Cornell football and unlock that bonus. Thank you very much. Have a great uh, night. You Good too. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.